of the Ministry of Community, Safety and Correctional Services. Yeah. Minister, you have grossly mismanaged our jail systems in Ontario. You've closed jails in Walkerton, Owen Sound and Blue Water without enough capacity to safely absorb the inmates. Rather than fixing problem jails, you close them. Given your track record, people in my area think you have no interest in actually fixing the problems at EMDC. Many think you'll ignore the problems until you can officially close the jail. Minister, when do you intend to close the Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre? Minister Community Safety and Correctional Services. First of all, Mr. Speaker, let me thank all the uh, correctional officers here, and here. the staff at AMDC. Here, here. They're doing an extremely good job. It's not an easy job to, to do. And I wanted to thank them uh, for all the good work that they're doing. The, as you know, Mr. Speaker, and as I said yesterday, the health and safety Order. of our staff in our correctional facility in EMDC is my utmost priority. And I know that they are always working in a very challenging environment. And actually, one of my first visits, as I, I was appointed Minister of uh, Community Safety and Correctional Services, was at EMDC. And I met the, uh, the leadership there, I met representatives Answer. from the correctional officer, and I saw first and, you know, the good work that they are doing over there. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. Uh, Minister, as you know, the situation in the Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre came to a head last night. Correctional officers, insulted by your comments, locked down the jail. Two fires broke out. A green alert occurred, of which there have only been two in the past 22 years, and it was issued. And a number of inmates were reportedly sent to the hospital. The correctional officers at EMDC worked day in and day out in dangerous conditions. Conditions made worse by your mismanagement. Yet yesterday, you refused to take responsibility and instead threw, out, threw our frontline corrections officers under the bus and insulted all the managers around the province. There is absolutely no excuse for your failure on this file. Minister, will you admit that you have no credibility on this file, publicly apologize and resign? Seated, please. Uh, this is not the moment to add your in interjections. Minister. Um. Mr. Speaker, as I said yesterday, you know, the health and safety of the uh, correctional officer and the staff at EMDC, it's my utmost priority. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And if I offended someone yes. yesterday, I deeply apologize because that was not my intent. Since I was appointed uh, with uh, the responsibility of correctional services, I work very closely with my ministry, with our partners out there, with the union. Actually, I'm meeting the uh, union this afternoon and the executive of EMDC because I want to hear firsthand, you know, what is their concern, and I want us to work together to help to improve the situation in AMDC. I want to see a real difference in AMDC. Yes, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes.